While most Americans drop everything they're doing and go run to the nearest screen, when they hear a story about some random balloon over the western United States, the vast majority of Americans, especially the denizens of our cities, are blissfully unaware of the ticking time bomb that is right beneath their feet every single day. And it would only take one slight hiccup and it would be Armageddon. Now, some of you know what I'm talking about, especially those of you who have participated over the Florida Maki Patreon channel. It's a topic and a subject that's just a little bit too graphic for YouTube. We can't cover it in detail here. But we did over there earlier today. News alert. Brand new Florida Maki video over at the Patreon channel. It's probably been about a week, 10 days since we talked about something controversial. It was about time. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar. That's it. One U.S. dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. And here's the kicker. Fully refundable. First 90 days. No questions asked. You can go over there. Kick the tires. Look at hundreds and hundreds of videos that have never been seen on YouTube. And you can say, well, this is worth it. This is worth my three pennies a day to have access to this kind of information. Or if it's not for you, once again, no questions asked. First 90 days, the one, two, or three dollars that you spent, right back at you. No problem. Now, I can talk about this issue in somewhat of a G-rated version here. How many of you saw this video that was viral on TikTok and YouTube Shorts and all the major platforms that cover stuff like this? Guy down in a, a sewer manhole, and he's got cockroaches just running all over him, in and out of his shirt, all over him. And people were just absolutely horrified at this. Well, guess what? This is an essential worker. And full disclosure, I actually did this job. Now, this isn't me, but it could have easily been me for quite a long time. And you'd have to ask yourself, boy, what would have to have transpired in my life for me to take a job like this? Well, for a lot of folks, it's just survival. It's their job. This is an essential worker. This is much more of an essential worker than any grocery store clerk. That is for sure. Now, what if I told you this story is tied to this issue with Gemini, Google AI that can't seem to figure out uh, different races of people and what independent thought is. It's also tied to the border. It's tied to the tent cities across America. It's even tied to inflation at the grocery store. They're all tied together in one psychological dysphoria. You see, you have to ask yourself the question, is it tied to this as well? Who Trump is going to pick for VP? Some might say Florida Maki. Those are all big stories. I get that. But how can they all possibly be tied together? Well, they are. They are by one thing. And it's going to blow your mind when you eventually see it. You see, Google's had to wipe some egg off its face, so to speak, because it has failed miserably at the stated goal of programming AI to think like the human brain. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. These people don't want independent thinkers. I think 2020... To now has proved this, that the human brain has the ability to look at information and depending on the human, take that information and come to some very different conclusions. That has been the case since literally the dawn of time. That human beings don't always look at the same information the same way and come to the same conclusion. So I ask you, how could you ever how could you ever program someone to look at this and have the exact same reaction as someone else? For example, someone who has done this job would have one opinion. Someone who has never done this job would have another opinion. How in the world could an artificial intelligence come to one static conclusion over and over and over again if it was truly programmed to be a quote-unquote human brain? Same thing with all of these stories requiring independent thought. You see, independent thought 
those who take a different tack, so to speak? Ask J.K. Rowling, ask Gina Carano. That's who these people are. About what independent thought will get you. Don't even bother with Andrew Tate. Follow the path of the unsafe independent thinker. Expose your ideas to the danger of controversy. Speak your mind and fear less the label of crackpot than the stigma of conformity. This channel talks a lot about Antarctica. And a lot of folks like to point fingers and laugh at this channel for talking about Antarctica the way that we do. Well, there you go. You see, so many Americans, especially those in the quote-unquote truth community, have conformed to one, two, possibly three ways of approaching the topic of Antarctica. But if you introduce a fourth or a fifth or a sixth way of approaching it, then you're just a crackpot. Remember this? Remember this? This uh, perplexed so many people. Well, we know what the truth is. How can so many people be so disinformed or misinformed or malinformed or whatever they wanted to? You see, they forgot this idea that there is such a thing as independent thought. And people come to different conclusions for many different reasons because we're different people. So over a year ago, over a year ago, I made a video at Patreon, and you'll find it over there. It's very easy to find. That said, AI will fail miserably, and it is in the process right now of failing miserably. Why? Because human minds are not identical from person to person to person to person. How in the world are you going to create something that mimics human thinking when human thinking itself doesn't mimic human thinking? How is that possible? We have how many billion people on this planet? We have how many different opinions about politics and about what should be done about this problem and that problem and different ages of the same person, by the way. Different ages of the same person can produce wildly different opinions. Quick poll, how many of you out there see the world and have the same opinions as you did when you were 20, if you're, say, 50 now, or 60? Different at 20, different at 30, different at 40? How in the world are you going to program an AI to grow and change its opinions with age like human minds do? It's not possible, is it? It's not possible, but there's another layer to this that has to do with inflation, tent cities, the border, even who Donald Trump is going to pick for president, or pardon me, vice president. Just on its face, logic would tell you this is impossible. Programming AI to think like, whose human brain? Whose? Well, I think we've seen, haven't we? I think we've seen who actually programmed the specific AI that didn't have the ability to put out uh, images of white people or didn't have the ability to call pedophilia bad or didn't have the ability to distinguish that Stalin was way, way, way worse than libs of TikTok. I think we can see whose brain they were modeling it after. So there'll be no such thing as AI. No such thing as artificial intelligence because the best you can do is one brain at one time a snapshot. And that should be something that's pretty simple to divine given anybody who's lived for more than five minutes. Because even a little baby, even a little baby knows the difference between mom and dad. Even a little baby knows the image of its mom. And when it sees mom, it smiles. When it sees its parents, it knows who its parents are. Ben, it definitely knows who a stranger is. Absolutely no way, no way to program that, program that into AI, pardon me. So it's silliness run amok. So I will leave that there. I'm not going to waste a lot of your weekend time. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. We're going to go out and enjoy it. Um, join us if you could. There's another level of this that I think a lot of you would definitely appreciate over at Patreon. And like I said, partnering with Vimeo, we can take the gloves off. We can put another speed bump in there and the sensors 
those who are trying to quash independent thought can't get there. It's ironic that they're using a tool, AI, that doesn't have the ability to think independently to try to quash independent thinkers. Irony of all ironies. And that's what Patreon's all about. One US dollar, fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. Would love to have you over there. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.